So there we were. Elliot about to get married. Me about to have a baby with Kim. Careening toward a kiss. We were both terrified because either one of us could back out at the last second, leaving the other kissing the air and feeling like a fool. Ah, the point of no return. The closing of the eyes. Time to dine. Elliot? J.D., what are we doing? How the hell did she do that? Finally gonna get to meet Sam. I wonder what he looks like. Oh, I just want a healthy baby. I mean, what more can you ask for? Hmm. Any second now. What the? I come from a land down under. So that's what that song's about. What be the flow, Lynch under. Can't you hear, can't you hear the thunder? I wondered where he was hiding. Hey, you. Wanna go that way? Thanks. Oh, dear God. It is like Baghdad in there. Look, Noby, I am on the verge of losing my mind. Do you have the time to give my daughter a shot now that you've ruined your life? Can you talk me through what I'm going through? Absolutely not. And find someone else to help me. Oh, damn, fine. Okay, fine. But if you use the words emotional roller coaster, I am O U T. Deal. I just feel like I'm on this like emotional. Ride of some oh, sort. Sure. Kind of like a coaster. Nothing in my life could compare to this. I'm a dad. That's not your kid. I know, but he reminds me of Sam. Uh, that's a girl. Stop ruining it. Why do you have to ruin things? I'm, I'm having a moment here. Let's go. The new patient scale had all the female staffers obsessing about one thing. I need to lose two pounds. Uh, since Keith and I broke up, I haven't been eating or sleeping very well, so I'm down to dress size. You look like you've been sick. Turk, that's so sweet. We all sensed what would happen if Turk didn't let go. Girls! Oh! Ah. Oh no! JD! Good. What's it say? <laughs> <laughs> Problem, lady? <laughs> Damn you, Carla, and your giant rubber stamps. <laughs> Let her go, Turk. Let her go. Sorry. I'm so sick of all the hypocrites around here. Two words, sweetie. Sunscreen. You know your smoking is killing you. God, that's delicious. Carla wants me to trash it. Oh, really? Dribble me! Between the legs! I'm going to say something to you that's been said to me by every person I've ever loved. I'm really disappointed in you. You are pathetic and weak, and I don't love you anymore. Get out! Yeah, that looks like a healthy bone. Speaking of healthy bones... Harry. One sec, ma'am. I've got one in my pants. He's all yours. Why don't we go over this later? Thanks. What have you been doing all day? Right up until this very moment, I've been successfully avoiding you. I came to tell you I'm taking the kids to my mother's for the weekend. And seeing that you're not allowed within 40 feet of her house... The restraining order. Christmas memories. Anywho, you're staying here. I'm going to leave you alone to celebrate. Hmm. People, I expect full participation. Woo! Oh, please. Oh, come on. Fine. Woo! I ran down here so I could do it twice. If they do this at all sporting events, I'm going to start going. Yay! Ah, alone for the weekend. I wonder what he's going to do. Hi, Perry. 
No, no, you can get get out. Fine, get out. Be fine. No. He said no. But you told me. I assumed he would say yes. I, mean, I did not invite like the Todd. Fellas, why are you wearing such giant underwear? Sometimes you just gotta say what the fudge. That's not the line. I saw it on a plane. I'm just pissy because Jordan left. I mean, I'm in the same boat. But since I broke off my engagement, I live all alone in that big empty house. Hell, Bob here is living at the hospital because Enid kicked him out. Did she just call me Bob? I will kick her again. We're like the Lonely Hearts table. No. No, actually, that's the Lonely Hearts table. Who are you? Who are you? Okay. We'll never win the acapella palooza performing like that. And if we don't win, there's no chance of us getting laid at the after party. I knew it. Look at how much you don't want to be alone. You're actually helping out the guy who you claim annoys you the most. Uh, Elliot, it's been seven years. I think we all know I don't annoy him. Okay, you're in it now. Go for broke. Heck, I bet that Perry would admit that I'm not just a colleague. I'm a friend. And arm around him. Oh, my God. Is this what heaven's like? It's amazing how much kids take after their parents. Dude, you know how when I daydream, I go like this? Dude, you totally go like that. Well, check Sam out. I wonder what he's thinking. Guys, Sammy's hungry. Can anybody help me out? Sure, sure. Pass him over here. I'm about ready to burst. Thanks. I'd do it myself, but I'm all tapped out. Turk and I had a milk fight in the parking lot. I lost. Okay, Chief, latch on. It's right there. Latch. Latch. He's latched. He's latched. Good. Oh. Dude, we said truce! Count it. Damn, Izzy. You're looking good, girl. Thank you, Sam. You not only have a soft spot in your heart, but you have one in your head. What do you say we hit up a Wiggles concert, then go back to my crib and pop open some formula, see what happens? Come here and taste this brown sugar. Taste this brown sugar. Tark, we can't make him kiss until Sam can hold his head up for real. I miss this, man. If I'm not at work, I'm taking care of Izzy. I feel like I don't get to roll with you or just do goofy stuff. It's just that when I have Sam, I'm so busy, you know? We're up at six, I feed him, I bathe him, then it's poopy time, then it's his poopy time. But that's why we need to get these two together right away. They need to get married so we can hang all the time. There's no guarantees, Turk. The other day I had Sam in the hospital, and when Dr. Cox brought in his daughter, he definitely turned his head. Okay, I turned it, but I could tell he wanted me to. There's plenty of fish in the sea, girl. I don't need you. Like, look at that. You are hot, baby. What is going on over there? I want to hit that. I want to spank it good. I like a spanking. I want to give it to you. I'm sorry, kids, huh? I'll talk to them. Anyways, when's the last time we did something off the hook, stupid? Probably not since the second day of college, remember? When it wasn't just the two of us. It was the three of us. Hmm. All right, you guys, I know we only met yesterday, but I have a feeling we're going to be best buds forever. Hands in. Chocolate bear. Vanilla bear. Caramel bear. Bears for life. If we pull this prank off, we are going to be the coolest freshmen on the whole campus. Yeah, we are. Let me do it. What? Sneak with it. Rest in peace, Caramel Bear.